Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to build a composite data model in Power BI. Composite data model comes in handy when you have to deal with uh, a large data set. So uh, let's take an example. You have two table. One table size is very small, okay. And the second table size is huge. And also it, the data gets refreshed, let's say every four hours or six hours. So you always need to have a live connection to the, your second uh, table. So this is in this scenario, you can use a composite data model because it allows you to have one model where you can have an import query and the second table you can have a live connection. So without wasting much time, let's move directly to an example. As you can see here, I have a SQL Server database. So for this example, I'm using AdventureWorks database. So, and I'll be using these two tables, the product table and sales order detail. Let's assume that product table remains constant uh, at least for, for a week or a month. So I need not refresh every month, but let's say sales order detail table keeps changing. There might be some orders the customer So it's always good to have a live connection. And also let's assume that the data size is huge, okay? So a best practice is to have a live connection. So let me import uh, the product table and then establish a live connection to this particular table and build a composite model. This is my Power BI desktop. So let me go go to my SQL server. So this is in my local system. So let me insert a dot. So because it's a local. So let me first import my product table. Because the product table remains constant. It doesn't change much, so I'll make sure I import this data to my model. So it's taking some time. Okay. So here's my product table. Let me load this data. You can see the structure here. So product ID would be would buy, would be my primary ID. I'll load this one. So as you can see, so the table has been loaded. So now let me load the other table as well. So go back to SQL Server Tools Server. And then this is local system, so I'm gonna just insert a dot. And then now I want a direct query. So this is the same database, AdventureWorks. Let me select the sales order detail table and then load. Okay, so it's gonna establish a live connection rather than importing. Okay, let me click on apply changes. It's showing me, yes, you need to give okay.
so now the load is complete so let me create one to many relationship so product id to product id okay, let me drag and drop okay one to many and product id to product id make this relationship active okay select okay so now if you click this table and check the properties you can see under advanced tab here you can see the storage mode is import okay and then let me select the other table sales order detail and if you look the properties you see it's a direct query so this is a composite data model so you are importing this table and creating a live connection to this table so whenever there is any changes to this particular table in the server and automatically when you click on any slicers or you need to do any calculations you get the latest live data so this is one of the advantage and also the second advantage here is like your pbf file will be lighter because you are not storing all this data into in your pbi so it's a live connection so based on whatever you select in uh, uh, based on this particular table let's say you you have a slicer and you, uh, its name so whenever you select something the query automatically go back and then fetches the data from this table and shows you the output so maybe i can quickly create a, a pivot matrix here so let me insert a matrix and now and let me add something from this particular table let's say i want the product id maybe i can take something else okay let me bring in maybe i'll create a table instead of a metrics i want to see the unit price and then i want the product id or maybe i think i can do something else i can pick sales order i don't want default summarization okay we can still keep this one product id okay product id and unit price so now if i want to add a slicer here let's say let me add one more slicer and this slicer is coming from this table this product table and i want the name here so now if i select something like a cable lock okay you don't have anything let's say chain yes i have chain and you can see the product id and the unit price so this is a simple example but let's say let's assume this particular table has several millions of records right so what you can do is you can create a live connection and then whenever you apply some slicer so the query automatically fetches the data from your table and then shows you the result so in this way you can manage your space effectively rather than loading the entire table into your pbi if you are loading entire data you might come face some memory issues and then maybe if you are trying to host this in a service the it may not allow you because this, there will be always spike in memory usage so it's always good practice to have a live connection so this particular live connection in this example i have created live connection to sql server but you can have a live connection to any other kind of a database but 
a catch here. So if you are trying to publish this in a in workspace in Power BI service environment, you might have to publish this uh, in some a server or like a live kind of uh, or a system that is live always by setting up a Power BI gateway. You can either have a personal or enterprise version. Maybe I'll create a separate video on gateways. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching.